We've been a leader in banking for more than 100 years. You'll find us here, at home, on your phone, and everywhere you go. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Good morning and welcome to Daily Journal Newsbreak for Friday, March 23rd. I'm your host, Chris Kiefer, and we're going to take a look at the top news and sports stories from Northeast Mississippi. But first, let's start with your weather forecast. Today we're looking at cloudy skies with a high of 69 and a low of 53. It's a 0% chance of rain. Looking ahead at your three-day outlook, Saturday calls for thunderstorms. It's a 40% chance of rain with a high of 71 and a low of 50. Sunday, partly cloudy skies with a high of 68 and a low of 55. And Monday, more thunderstorms. That's an 80% chance of rain. The high is 62 and the low is 51. Let's take a look now at today's top headlines. Republican Senator Thad Cochran gave a farewell speech Thursday in the U.S. Senate, where he's the longest serving current member of Congress. The 80-year-old Cochran is retiring on April 1st because of poor health. He said he's optimistic about the future of our great nation. Cochran served in the House for six years before joining the Senate in 1978. Colleagues paid tribute to Cochran on Thursday at the U.S. Capitol. They repeatedly praised the Senate Appropriations Committee chairman for being civil while working across party lines. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky said Cochran wrote the book on composure under pressure. Minority Leader Chuck Schumer of New York said Cochran sought his support for Gulf Coast projects after Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Years later, Cochran helped the Northeast after Superstorm Sandy. New businesses have flocked to downtown Tupelo in the last five years. During that time period, overall downtown occupancy has climbed above 95%. Downtown Tupelo Main Street Association Director Debbie Brangenberg said the downtown area is becoming a robust retail business center. The number of restaurants has increased the last five to eight years, and development in the Fair Park District is expected to open the city to new opportunities. Businesses new to downtown include Mays Proper, a home design firm, and L.A. Green, an upscale clothing boutique. Additionally, some existing downtown businesses will see changes soon. Downtown frozen treats shop Popsy has new owners Misty and Wilson Coleman and an expanded menu. Spring Street Cigars, which has been in Tupelo for years, has had a recent change in leadership as well and will now operate under the leadership of John Higgins. The state representative who started the gun debate this session in the Mississippi legislature ended it on Thursday. Braxton Republican Andy Gibson let his bill die because he said the Senate changes to the bill would weaken the existing law. Thursday was the deadline to invite negotiations with the Senate or send the proposal to the governor. Gibson said he did not think a compromise could be reached on the bill in the coming days before the session ends. Gibson said the original intent of his bill was to ensure legal remedies for enhanced carry permit holders if their existing right to carry a gun was denied at sporting events or at other public places. In the Senate, the bill was amended to allow guns and other weapons to be prohibited at sporting events if armed law enforcement was present. The bill also would have established a system where schools could arm staff members. And in sports, the Mississippi State women's basketball team will be making its third straight Sweet 16 appearance tonight. Until last year, the Bulldogs had never advanced beyond the Sweet 16. But after reaching last year's national championship game, there is a new standard for MSU as a program. The top-seeded Bulldogs are still four wins away from bringing home an elusive national championship. Their road to redemption begins against fourth-seeded North Carolina State. The game will begin at 6 p.m. in Kansas City. It can be seen on ESPN2. The Wolfpack are in the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2007. They have played stingy defense in the opening two rounds while holding Elon and Maryland below their scoring averages. The Wolfpack have also won the rebounding war in 28 games this season and are averaging 9.8 more boards than their opponents. Senior guard Chelsea Nelson is NC State's biggest scoring threat at 13.1 points per game. She also leads the Wolfpack on the glass, averaging 9.6 rebounds. Victoria Vivians continues to lead MSU this season, averaging 19.7 points per game. She ranks second in career scoring in school history. And that does it for Newsbreak on this Friday. Don't forget that this show is just one of the many online offerings courtesy of the Daily Journal. 
to get you news off the page and on the go. The Memo Podcast takes a deep dive into a single topic each week to give you a greater understanding of Northeast Mississippi. This week's show looks at the Go Cup zone recently approved by the Tupelo City Council and what it will mean for downtown Tupelo. Look for the episode later this afternoon at Apple Podcasts or Google Play or online at memo.djournal.com. And Ole Miss and Mississippi State fans, listen to the Double Coverage podcast with beat reporters Parrish Alford and Logan Lowry. Look for a new episode later today in Apple Podcasts, Google Play, or at doublecoverage.djournal.com. Any story discussed today on Newsbreak can be found in your daily journal or online at djournal.com, where you can also find a new episode of Newsbreak each weekday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Kiefer. Have a great Friday.